boys. It's been a week or two after we've completed this project. Come back to check everything out after all the rain. Water wall is doing great. Mulch is held good. We've got just a little bit of wash and some soft spots here. I'm going to bring a skid steer back up here and slick this up a little bit. But everything else has come out great, man. Check out the detail on that wall. Look at the time involved. These guys filled every freaking void with rock. Got all the geo cut and trimmed back. All right. Let's see if I can close this trailer park deal. What's going on, wild man? All right, not a whole lot. How's your yarner? Good, man. You're a hard dude to get a hold of. <laughs> did you did you buy that land up there? Uh, no, I'm uh, I'm gonna wait. So what do you uh, what do you what are you gonna do at the park? Are you gonna try to sell that and buy the land of Maggie Valley? Or are you gonna try to keep both? Well, I'll tell you. And I mean, I know this don't make any sense to anybody else, but there's some things in there that I'd like to see done before I walk out of it. Uh-huh. Uh, it'll actually be, it'll be to somebody else's uh, detriment because uh, I'm going ahead and starting to fix all the other colors that's in there. Yeah. And for the ones we're going to tear down, it's too far gone. Right. So when they do buy it, it's going to be making them roughly... About seventy thousand a year, and maybe more. When do you think you'll have that stuff done? Probably three years. Three years. I mean, look, it's going <laughs> to cost me twenty thousand dollars to put a new pump house in. Yeah. And new new water tanks and everything. Does it need that? Uh, well, you could get by without it, but they're getting more and more particular. Over these old galvanized tanks, and that's what that trailer park's got. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need a new plastic tank. Well, you know, I'll tell you, just in these four trailers, I'm going to wind up having about roughly somewhere around $70,000 by the time I'm through remodeling. Yeah, you ain't telling me shit, man. I'm, I'm putting 16 in a park right now. If you want to enter into an agreement about it, yeah. then... Uh, I'm going to need some help. Okay. And the, the trailer park's got about five trees in it that need to be cut. Yeah, I rode through there the other day. I know which ones you're talking about, I believe. Well, there's a, a poplar tree right there to the pump house and one right up the hill above it. Yeah. And I've got a great big oak tree yeah. down in, the, in the, the lower part of the loop. Yeah, I've seen that. And I've got two... Three other poplar trees and a big maple that need to be cut. Okay. And then I'd like to trim all the limbs on the lower side of the park that border the property with shady land. Right, right. Yeah, it's kind of growing into the road. Who paved that road right there to the church? Uh, Johnson Paving did it. He does a good job. Um, well, they charged him 24000 to do it. Woo, shit. Son, that shit's high now, ain't it, man? Yeah, they didn't really cut him much of a deal. Nah, they don't cut. They, they, they don't. He he does a dang good job. I mean, you can't cut corners, you know. I mean, you can't cut costs and cut corners, you know. So, but but his his work will be there forever, you know. Yeah. What I, what I would like is you're the one that's going to wind up with the park. Yeah. But I want to work out some kind of deal with you where it don't cost me an arm and a leg to cut all these damn curves. You know, I'd rather just buy the park like it is. I know you know that. I understand that, and uh, I've had somebody else that offered me a little bit more just to damn turn it over to him. Yeah. But they're wanting to come in and put tiny homes, and they'd make everybody in there move. I recently just bought a couple homes, um, and I need somewhere to move them to. I was going to build a park. Um, but I'm waiting on DOT to get a road in for me and I don't I need to get them trailers moved I'd like to try to do something with you if it was you know Whether we I move them over there and you just charge me lot rent and I rent them out or if I can just go ahead and try to buy the park from you I've got to put money together for it now since I've got m money in those two other deals But I know you, you you probably want to do the value add you know I, You know try to get some of them ready to rent to get a little more money out of it But I mean, I don't know where I'll be at in three years. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, hell nobody does really. <laughs> I don't know where I'll be at in six months. You know what I mean? What are you willing to go on it? Here's the problem I'm gonna have right is I have to sell it to the money man who's who's pretty well already sold But I need to know every single thing about that park so I'd like to ride around with you in the park and you show me where all the septics and stuff are yep. so i don't put my foot in my mouth 
uh, on a number. But I think the numbers we've talked about, I'm, I think I can still make work with him. Um, I just need to be able to know everything. So if he asks me a question, I don't, I don't, my answer is, isn't, I don't know, you know. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Would not be better for you to wait these three years and then step into it and then making three 300,000 every four years? Yes, it would. The problem is, though, keeping to just continue to keep scaling bigger and bigger and bigger. So in three to five years, I'd really like to be buying a big apartment complex is not just you know, the mobile home parks. On paper, it looks like we get rich on every one of these deals, but we're really just getting a little more and a little more and a little more. And if you don't keep putting that money right back into something that, you know, you find things to spend it on, unfortunately, and then you're kind of staying in the same spot, you know? We're averaging about $12,000 a piece buying older homes, fixing them up a little bit, getting them moved in, you know, getting them ready to rent. Yeah. <clears throat> but we're also doing all the work ourselves too. So that saves us on some of the labor, you know, uh, and, and that's the cheapest way I've been able to figure out to do it. And I've been doing it for four or five years, you know, I'll tell you what, we'll get together and talk. All right, man. I'd love to for sure. All right, brother. I appreciate you, man. You're welcome. We'll see you. See you, dude. It's a 40 home park. I think there's 23 homes in there right now. Some are property owned, some are tenant owned, some need to be tore down. Get all the information. We'll put it all on paper. I'll show you what the numbers look like. Stay tuned, baby. Give y'all a little update real quick uh, on this uh, new road job we got going on, Parano County Falls. Uh, as you know, you see, we got the hammer here uh, yesterday. I've worked all morning with uh, land resource management uh, to try to get the septic site figured out up here. This is extremely rocky terrain, as you guys know and have seen, and obviously why we have the hammer here. But uh, if you don't know septic well, septic does not do good on rocks. So uh, there's about six acres here and we've been all over it today. Uh, digging perk holes with a mini hoe up there and uh, doing some soil evaluations. We were able to get uh, right here by the road. This is the entrance of our road here. Uh, we were able to get this area here to perk with some good soils for a conventional system. Uh, but as you know, the house is uh, almost a thousand feet away uh, from the drain field. So uh, anyway, we got some more work to do to make that all work. But we spent most of the day today working on that with the engineers and uh, got all of our ditching done basically through here. Got the road cut. We've got vegetation piled on the side. So as trucks come in and dump gravel, we'll load the vegetation, send it back out. So trucks come and go in both ways are full. Uh, Legend's getting me over to the first bit of rock we need a hammer right now. And uh, I'm gonna bring this machine back there, do a little hammering on that. Uh, and I'll show you guys what that's gonna look like if you've never seen that. So I'm gonna shut the GoPro off. Battery's about dead until we uh, action starts. All right, stay tuned.